Hello, ladies. Welcome back. It is Wednesday, so we're halfway through the work week. Hopefully everybody's having a good week. We've had a few special items come in this week that were pre-ordered. So I've gotten those put all up in your pouches, but we have a few left over. So we will show those today. I've also got some other earrings and necklaces, plus five of our blockbusters. So it's a good time to show blockbusters. Hi, Mom. Hi, Marjorie. Good to see you. How's the week going? How are you doing, Marjorie? It's almost the start to a new month, so got to start that time over again, right? Yeah. Hi, Violet. Thank you for sharing. So are you ready to look at some jewelry, play some family feud? Have a little bit of fun? You're having a good week? Good. Hi, Jane. Right, nobody's in on Instagram yet, but we've got you four ladies in on Facebook. So we will go ahead and get started. See, this means you get to see the stuff that everybody else doesn't get to see, right? <laughs> All right, let's start with our blockbusters. Blockbusters. This is Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Okay. We're always at 4.30. Um, Dora just asked if it was at a different time today. Like. Oh, yeah, maybe I was a minute late coming on. That's right. I didn't have my phone up. Okay, so this is charmed, I'm sure, in black. We do also have this in a dark brown, kind of like a milk chocolate colored brown. So this one is one of our blockbusters, as are the next few so I can order these in any time. I do have a few on hand. Other than that, I can order more in. This one has a black enamel flower down in the center. We've got, almost looks like a strawberry right here. We have a few different hearts on here and some other flowers, along with some chunky black and white crystal beads and some polished silver. So this one is charmed, I'm sure. Hi, Becky. These are the earrings that come with it. So these are little textured rings with a, an opaque black bead coming down from there on a fish hook back. I like to show our blockbusters because we don't always show them a lot since we have them all the time. So they're not really new. And a lot of times we end up showing new things. So this is the length of this necklace. This is on the tightest setting. You do still have that two inch extension built in. So you could bring this down to lay on the bust if you wanted a little bit longer look. So this is going to be number one today. This is charmed, I'm sure. We have it in this black color and also in a milk chocolate brown. This is number one. Hello, Terry. Hi, Becky, good to see you. All right, let's see. Becky wanted to see. A silver spell. So that is this one. This is also a blockbuster. We also have it in gold. So these are polished silver oval rings. They're all hanging down kind of in a V shape. Some of these oval rings you can see are textured. They kind of have that twisted appearance, and some of them are just the flat polished silver. The earrings that come with it are the flat polished silver ovals. Hi, Sheila. Good to see you too. These are on a fish hook back. And again, I can get these all the time, but I do keep several in stock. This is the length. So this is a little bit longer necklace, kind of a medium length. You've got about two inches below that collar. And then the last part of it falls here on the bust. With the two inch extension, you can bring this down even further, put the top of it right about here, and then the bottom of it falling more in the upper to mid abdomen. So we have that one in silver and also in a very pretty gold. This is a golden spell. And then we have a silver spell. I have three of each of them on hand, and then I can reorder anytime. So these are going to be number two. 
and just specify whether you would rather have gold or silver. We're just doing a few blockbusters to get it started today. If any of you don't know what blockbuster means, it just means that this is one we carry all the time. So we have a limited amount of things that we have all the time. Becky would like number two silver. Um, and then the rest of it is just limited quantities. So until it sells out, we have it and then it's gone unless they choose to re-release it later. So these first five that I'm showing are blockbusters. I can get these in any time. This is Hollywood Hills. So this is the one I was wearing um, a few shows ago. Everybody said they liked. This is the white rhinestones. It is in a silver setting. They're little clusters of white rhinestones, some larger and some smaller. There is also a matching bracelet if you'd like a full set. The earrings are a little bit larger white rhinestones than we typically see. There are also the white round rhinestones on a fish hook back. This is the length on the tightest setting. So just a little bit below her collar, maybe about half an inch. Hi, Aunt Dora. You are not getting the notifications. Okay, I will make sure. You should still be in the group. I put one up 45 minutes ago. Maybe it moved up too far for you to see it. But we'll make sure you're on there. So this one's about a half an inch below the collar. And then with a two inch extension, you could bring it down here more to mid chest. The bracelet, basically a smaller copy. Don't mind my hand, I got it in some dye this morning. So now I have to wait for it to wear off. So this is the bracelet. It is the adjustable chain type bracelet. So we have the lobster clasp and the extra chain. So you can buy them separately or you can buy them together as a matching set. This one is Hollywood Hills and it is number three. No limited quantities on these. Nice to have a few things we don't have limits on. And then this one is actually one of my favorites, even though I wasn't sure about it to begin with. It's kind of big for me. This one is called Global Glamour in silver. So we have round hammered discs with also the studded appearance around the gems. These are the dark gray hematite rhinestones. They are point out. So if you can see it, that means that it comes to a point on the front side rather than on the back in the setting like we usually see. So five rhinestones. And then the earrings are the smaller versions of those discs with the rhinestones inside. So a very nice large set of earrings to go with these. And they are on a fish hook back. I'd love to see them come out with a bracelet to this one as well. They don't have one yet. This one's about half an inch below that collar as well. With their two inch extension, you could bring it down to sit here at the top of the bust. Hello, Shannon, good to see you. So top of the bust with the extension. This is Global Glamour in silver. And it is number four. And let me see what I did. Look, number five. Number five is one of our longer ones, and this one is a fun one. It has all our bright spring and summer colors in it. This is called Kaleidoscopically Captivating. Yeah, he's not going to try to spell that. <laughs> so these rings have the shell type appearance, and also the discs have that shell type appearance, kind of the swirly mother of pearl or pearlescent finish on them. So we've got yellow, blue, pink, and orange on here, plus some flat, shiny silver discs with that cutout in the middle. This is the one Violet's husband nicely modeled for us a while ago in the Wear It weekend. The earrings are smaller pink discs, also with that shell type appearance on a fish hook back. This is my granddaughter's favorite necklace. They like, like this one, so they made their other grandma get one. Terry says, just call it a circus necklace. It does kind of look like that, right? So this one falls in the mid to lower abdomen. 
And with a two inch extension, it's gonna be right here at that dropped waist. When you drop it, you could probably also double it if you wanted to make a shorter two strand necklace out of this. So this is kaleidoscopically captivating in multi. And it's number five. All right, let's ask a family feud question. Let's see, I have to find where we left off here. This is not too bad of one. Let's go with answer number four on this question. Name an instrument in a symphony orchestra. Answer number four. So the fourth most popular answer. Name an instrument in a symphony orchestra. And if you haven't figured it out yet, I try to pick the not so obvious answers. I give everybody a chance. Um, tempo was actually not on there. I'm surprised. Oboe was on there. It is number five. Uh, French horn wasn't on there either. I had to look. No clarinet, no cymbals. Drums were number three. Viola was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number seven. Now, violin wasn't on there. Oh, yes, it was. It was number one. Violin was number one. I almost couldn't see it hidden down there under the question. You don't think we have gotten the right answer yet. Not the triangle. Trombone was number eight. Max has guessed it over here. We're now playing... Um, Parades, I guess, <laughs> over here to the side. Um, not electric guitar, not clarinet, not the triangle, not a xylophone. Not the bass. Uh, I think King David. What did he play? I mean, he played a lot of things, but... The harp. There we go, Terry. The harp. That was number four. Yeah, some of these I have to give you clues on, but I'd rather do that than have it be so obvious that everybody gets it right away. So that's more fun, right? Get to guess a little bit. Yeah, Max watches somebody named Alberto, and I don't know what his last name is, but he watches them on YouTube, and he is amazing on the harp. He is amazing. All right, these next ones are called Bohemian Ball. We're going to do five pairs of earrings now. These are in red. So this is a tomato red. It has just a slight edge of orange in it. Also has white rhinestones. You can see that in this silver frame with studded filigree. I like the fact that they've got the dots in here as well, that little, those little studs along the filigree. I just have one pair of these remaining. Thank you, Violet. I like this necklace too. It's one of my only long ones. Hmm? Alberto de la Rosa is the uh, harpist. This is the size of these earrings. You said harp on YouTube. Oh yeah, it came up, but it was after somebody else. They all come in this one feed for me. I see it. So these are Bohemian Ball in red. It was about the fourth person that said harp. Number six. Bohemian Ball. Nope, oh, I absolutely do see you, Jane. I like this. I'm using a um, third party streaming program. So all of my things stream into just this one program or stream out from this one program, I should say. And then your comments come back in, but they're all in one long feed here in the side of my screen. It makes it so much easier 
to tell who gets it first. This is one beach at a time. These are hot pink wooden cutout earrings in kind of a marquee shape. See all those pretty little cutouts in that make some light and airy. Our wooden earrings and our necklaces are always very light to begin with. And then the cutouts give them that airy feel. So this is the size and the length. I do have two pairs of these available. I don't know where Allison is. This is one beach at a time in pink. Maybe she has to work. Number seven. Not sure if her restaurant has gone back to full hours yet or not. But she works in a restaurant, so it's mostly evenings. These are flamboyant foliage in black. See, I couldn't find the yellow, Becky, but I found the black. The two pairs of black. These are marquee shaped black beads, shiny black beads. They're kind of gathered like a, a set of leaves or maybe even a cluster of grapes. That's what they remind me of. Yeah, work, what's that? Does anybody do that anymore? This is the size and the shape of these. Yeah, they haven't come out in red yet. Sorry, mom, I'm looking. They've come out in yellow and in black so far. I do like these black ones though. Think about how much you wear black. How many of our clothes are black? So these are a good, nice standard pair of earrings to wear. And they're not too fancy. You could wear them with jeans if you wanted to. So these are number eight. I do have two pairs of these. So they're flamboyant foliage in black. There you go. These were originally from a fashion fix that we had a couple months back. You want to take the black ones too, Becky? Okay. I think they're pretty. I like those. These are called hardware headed in brass. They matched the um, brass mixture necklace that we had with these same rippled hammered plates. So we've got two of these plates stacked on top of each other. They're on a brass fish hook back. This is the size and the length. So they're not humongous. Try to tip my head. Let's see. I still need a level for my head. Who's found a level for my head? I need like a headband that has a level on it that I can put right at the front of my head so that you can see how things really fit. I have two of these available. They're going to be number nine. And just in case anyone wears clip-ons or knows someone who does and would like to gift them, I do try to get the clip-ons when they come in, especially if they're nice size ones. These are called Gatsby Gleam in white. Yes, it does, Becky. That was from that same fashion fix. These are square white rhinestones with little hammered edges all along the outside. So they're not tiny rhinestones. They are hammered edges. And then one white pearl at the bottom. They have the standard clip-on closure with that silicone pad. So this is the size of these earrings. So they're not too, too small. Two of these available. These are Gatsby Gleam in white, number 10. You have one that hangs on a string. I don't think that will work on my head, but I bet Max could make me one on my headband, get one of the little the bubble things and put it on a headband for me. Then I could really look stupid while I'm doing this show. <laughs> All right. Oh, what answer should we try here? Let's go with answer number two on this one. Okay, add number nine to Becky's, please. Name a piece of clothing people buy without trying it on. And this is not during the pandemic. This is all the time. Name a piece of clothing that people buy without trying it on. We're going to take answer number two on this one. Oh, see, it could be put on a headband. I told you. He'd rig it up some kind of way. Socks was number one. Pants was not on the list. Bra is iffy. It was actually underwear. So we'll go with mom's answer, underwear, since she did get it exactly like they have it. A shirt was number five. 
So I'm assuming they meant like a t-shirt because you pretty much know what size you are in those. Some of the other sizes are kind of complicated. A dress, I would never buy a dress without trying it on unless I could return it and I didn't mind doing that. A bathing suit, usually I tried those on too. They all have those the fancy hygiene shields in them now or I leave my bra and panties on when I do it. So we didn't get two of them and they're both something that go around your neck even though it's a piece of clothing. A hat, that would be good. Two things that go around your neck that are clothing or considered clothing. A scarf was one. A gator, that was not it, but that's a good guess. That the thing that you put around your neck that you can just pull up. Oh. The other one was a necktie, a necktie. You might match them against your shirts or whatever, but most people don't try them on. Although there are different sizes of neckties, which you may or may not know. All right, this one was one of our special necklaces that came in this week. I have two of them remaining that were not claimed on the pre-claim. This is white moonstone. It has silver flowers and leaves. And then these two round white moonstones, this one with a plain silver frame, this one with a twisted edge silver frame. This is called Exquisitely Eden. The earrings are the small white moonstone beads on a fish hook back. Nice that they did it in white because it matches everything, right? So this one's just a little over a quarter inch below that collar, so not very far below the collar. And then you have the two inch extension, so that's going to bring it somewhere down here around the top of the bust. So I do have two of these remaining. Also have a couple little white rhinestones that I forgot to mention. I realized when I'm looking at it that I didn't say that. A little white rhinestone. So this is exquisitely Eden in white. Two of them available. That is number 11. Those of you who did pre-claim it, it is already in your pouch. So it will be coming out this week. Yay. We like it when the new stuff comes, right? Try to space my orders out so that we always have new stuff. Number 11 to Lona. I do not think she claimed one before. I know we claimed the pink one. All right, this is radial waves. Radial waves in rose gold. So these are rose gold hammered plates or discs all stacked together. They're on a cord type chain. And hi, Lona, we didn't get to see you before. They're on a cord type chain, also in rose gold. The earrings are smaller versions of those discs, hammered discs in rose gold on a fish hook back. This is the length. So that's about half an inch below that collar. You can see how shiny it is. Rose gold is good for everyone because it actually flatters any skin tone. So that was one of the things I learned about rose gold. That what makes it unique from other metals. It's actually gold with a little bit of copper mixed in it. Hi, Tracy. So it's gold and copper, but because of that little bit of pinkish tone in it and the gold, it is universally flattering to skin tones. So I just have one of these remaining. This is called Radial Waves in Rose Gold, and it's number 12. Am I distracting you from work, Tracy? Hate to distract anybody who's working. You probably need a break anyway. This one is called Large as Life in Gold. So you have somebody that likes a little bit larger necklaces. This is a nice one, it's a crescent plate with texturing on it. Number 12 to Aunt Dora. Needed a break? Me too. Let's have some wine. Yeah, go let the cat out. That's your break. Walk the dog. <laughs> it has a little chevron design on the bottom of it and then a smaller one right up above it. Some linear designs and then it's triangles up at the top. The earrings that go with it 
are these cute little teardrop earrings with also that chevron pattern on them on a fish hook back. I do have two of these. This one is not going to lay flat on Linda because she's kind of stiff, but it would lay flat on you. So it's right there at that collar. And then you also have the two inch extension. So if you wanted to bring this down, it's going to lay right about here on your chest. So two of these available. This is larger than life in gold. And it is number 13. Number 14 was one of our other really hard to get necklaces and just have one remaining. This is effortlessly efflorescent in pink. This is pink moonstone flowers with white rhinestones around them. This is not a huge necklace. It's a little on the smaller side, but it's nice and it shows up well. The earrings are pink teardrop moonstones on a fishhook back. Again, just one left. If you pre-claimed it, it is already in your pouch. That's why it's always important to watch for pre-claims. This one's just a little over a quarter inch below that collar. Hey, Jenny. Hey. Yes, she did. Violet already pre-claimed it. Two inches below is going to be right about here. Yeah. So this one is my last one. Effortlessly efflorescent in the pink moonstone. It is number... 14. Number 15, just have one up. Number 14 to Aunt Dora. Um, not sure, Terry. I may have, but it got claimed. <laughs> yes, you have to say it's low. And when you've not been drinking any homemade wine. So I haven't had any yet. I've had Mountain Dew. This one is Party Spree in black. I just have one of these. These are black crystal type beads, very shiny, along with our polished silver beads and then some wrapped silver beads. So they have wire wrapping around the polished silver beads. Kind of look like cage beads, but they're not hollow. The earrings are the black crystal type beads on a fish hook back. So this one's gonna hang right about at that collar. And then with a two inch extension, it's gonna bring it down here about mid chest, but it'll hang more like in here. So this one is party spree. In black, this is my only one. And it is going to be number 15. All right, time for another question. Let's see. Which answer am I going to go with? Go with answer number six on this one. Am something people do in a park. Something people do in a park. And we're looking for answer number six. Bye, Becky. Swing, play. Let's see, swinging actually wasn't on there. Can you believe that? Playing ball was on there. Walk was number three. Picnic was actually number one. Play ball was number eight. So that would include soccer, baseball, football, whatever. Sleep? Mm, nobody's sleeping in this park, apparently. Bring your kids. Doesn't say that. Walk the dog was number one, two, three, four, five. Number five. 
I did not see that she said kiss. Mom, you need to behave in the park. <laughs> Are you being bad in the park again? I did not see Frisbee, but it is not on here. I'm looking through the list. Okay. Um, I've only got a couple that are not that haven't been taken. Barbecue was not on here. I guess they consider that in with a picnic. Meet friends was not on there. Another kind of activity besides walking or playing ball would you do in the park? Sell drugs. <laughs> Yeah, they all have that one on there. It is exercising, but it's a specific type of exercise. Breastfeeding, <laughs> that's not exercise, although you will burn some calories doing it. Yeah, <laughs> Max says if you're kissing in the park, you will eventually be breastfeeding in the park. <laughs> not skating. Yes, we're going to give it to Marjorie because she's the closest at running. It was actually jogging. Then Jane came in later with that. But we'll give it to Marjorie. Jane's already gotten one, so we'll give it to her. Walking the dogs. Feeding the birds is one that we missed. Feeding the birds. Maybe you don't have, I guess, not everybody feeds the birds. We have ducks at our park. Jenny, I didn't see you say jog. I saw you say exercise. No, I still don't see a jog for Jenny. Yeah, apparently it didn't come up that way, Jenny. Yeah, I didn't see. Oh, way back there. I don't, it's not on mine. Okay. Sorry, I missed that, Jenny. That would have been easier. <laughs> It was jogging, Violet. All right. Yeah, I don't know why it loses things sometimes. It's crazy. But it doesn't lose too much, thank goodness. This one is Viva La Vacation. So they're calling this orange. It is a very yellow orange. So it's a very yellowish orange. These are marquee-shaped beads in larger and smaller sizes. They're in little clusters of three. Viva la vacation. The earrings are those same marquee shaped beads on a fish hook back. Oh, she'll get to watch the replay. Hi, Kimberly. See you over there on Instagram. Kimberly and Tracy are on Instagram. All right, this one is just below her collar, probably not even quarter inch. Terry's going to claim it. <laughs> before we even get to the number. So this one belongs to Terry. Terry with that two inch extension, it's gonna come down about here, the bottom of it. So this one belongs to Terry, Viva La Vacation. No, because it's the last one. That's number 16. When it's the last one, you need to grab it quick before somebody else does it. <laughs> Max says it's pretty too. Do I have any lanyards? I don't have any in the show today. Totally out of your realm in yellow, yes. But it's kind of a yellowish orange. It's actually a fairly popular color in clothing, especially multicolored clothing, if you look around. All right, this one is Battle of the Bombshells in purple. I have two of these available. So these are purple, pearly beads, and kind of flat discs. They kind of look like a mento. If you know what mentos are, that's kind of the size and shape that they are. We have faceted silver beads and then some smaller pearly beads in here. Okay, this, the earrings were the same marquee-shaped beads. Max is helping us. See, there we go. There's your earrings, Terry. Turn it just a little bit. There you go. They're turning sideways. Okay. You can see it better on Instagram? Good, Kimberly. Sometimes it works good. Sometimes it doesn't. So don't get frustrated if it doesn't work well, just switch over to Facebook or you can look on YouTube as well. Yeah. Max said he's not gonna put them up to his ears, but. All right, the earrings on this one are those purple pearly beads, the smaller ones on a fish hook back. 
this is the length. So about two and a half or three inches. Okay, I have to measure this one because now I'm curious. I don't know how to judge that. About three, I was right. And then with the extension, it's gonna lay down here on the bust. So this could be a medium length necklace if you want it more medium length. It's called Babble of the Bombshells. I do have two of them available. And it is number 17. Number 18. I have two of. This is Whatever Floats Your Yacht. This is a smaller bar necklace. It's kind of a braided appearance in black metal. And it has little rhinestones. I guess they're white. I was trying to decide whether they were white or whether they were light silver, but they appear to be white. Okay, she so got Terry for 17. And then the earrings are the white rhinestones in that black setting on a fish hook back. This is a smaller, shorter necklace. So it's going to sit right there a little bit above and a little bit below the collar. So about half and half. With the two-inch extension, you can bring it down here close to mid-chest. So this one's going to be number 18, Whatever Floats Your Yacht. Personally, I thought it was water, but I guess I'm wrong. It's a necklace. Number 18. Number 19. I have in three colors. So let's put the rose gold one up here. I have three in rose gold. This one is called Top Tier Fashion. So we have lots of teardrops. That's why they call it Top Tier Fashion. So these are dainty rose gold teardrop type hoops, teardrop shaped hoops, all fastened together on also teardrop shaped chain. After that, it has a double chain going up to the clasp. The earrings are also those teardrop shapes. You can see one's upside down, one's right side up <laughs> on a fish hook back. Also have this in the shiny copper and in silver, which I will be happy to show you in just a moment. Let me fix these little teardrops. There we go. So it's going to sit kind of around your collarbones without the extension. With your extension, that's going to bring the top down to about here. So in between here and here is where that is going to sit with the two inch extension. They have three in rose gold. I only have one each in the shiny copper. So this is the shiny copper. And in the silver. So I have rose gold, silver or shiny copper. This top tier fashion, and it is number 19. Go. Number 20, also have in two colors, one each. This is a crackle stone. Of course, with the black, we see no crackling in it, but this is that same stone. This is an oval stone in black with a studded. Yes, I can show the copper and rose gold next to each other. Hang on. The copper is just a little bit darker. 19 silver to Aunt Dora. This has a studded frame around that stone. The earrings are those oval stones as well on a fish hook back. This is the length. So it's about mid chest, top of the bust. With that two inch extension, you bring the bottom of it down to here. So it's gonna lay right on that bust. Also have that one in gray, which they're calling silver. So there you can see the crackling on this gray one. It says Southwest Showdown in either silver or black, one available of each. This is number 20. So now that I've put those down, I can show you the rose gold and the silver next to each other. So this is what they look like next to each other, Violet. They're very similar. The copper is just darker. 
As I mentioned, rose gold is just a combination of gold and a little bit of copper in it to give it that little tinge of pink. Let me put it up against this white background that might help even more. There you go. You can see that they're just a little bit different. Here's those two back. All right, time for a question. Let's take answer number three on this one. Name something you eat with crackers. Something you eat with crackers. No. I know that's what they eat with crackers, but not the answer. Okay, cheese was number one. Soup was number two. Chicken salad would have been a good answer, but it was not on there. Peanut butter was the answer. So Violet got it first. Peanut butter. There's one more answer. I haven't seen anybody say it yet, but I would consider it a soup personally. So I don't know why there is another entry for it, but chili was the other answer. I feel like that's a soup. Yeah, the girls love to eat it with their cheese ball. I make cheese balls and they love them. All right, these are There Goes the Neighborhood in pink. These are very pretty hoops with rhinestones in a violet pink and white. So these are marquee shaped and round shaped and some rectangular shaped rhinestones in them. This is the size of these hoops. Just have one pair left, just one pair. I don't even know what my color chart, my color chart calls this fuchsia. We'll go with that. Fuchsia sounds good. It's a purpley pink. These are called There Goes the Neighborhood in pink. And they are number 21. Number 22, I have in two colors and I have two of each remaining. These are called City Curves in black and in silver. So these are teardrop shaped polished metal hoops in black or in silver. This is the size. So City Curves, silver or black, two pairs of each available, number 22. My last pair of these, these are called Chic Crescento. Chic Crescento. So these are very thick gold hoops. They're a little shorter in size or in diameter than, than the other ones we have. They are not heavy because they are hollow inside. So this is the size of these hoops. Chic Crescento. in gold. They are number 23. Number 24, I also have two pairs of. These are the antiqued copper. They're hammered antiqued copper hoops. Again, they're the shorter ones. They're a little bit wider. So this is the size. Match the antique copper that I have on my heart. These are, put your best face forward. Put your best face forward. Talking about dumb puns, Terry, there's one for you. Put your best face forward. Number 24, play on words and it's dumb. There's another set I'd rename if I could. All right, number 
I do not buy them for the name. <laughs> it's quite obvious. Okay, this is my only pair of these. These are Sweet as Spring in orange. So this is a darker orange. It's more of a pumpkin orange. It's not a light, bright orange. And we have the pretty filigree. This is an antique silver. So it kind of has a blackish or a grayish look to it. But you can see the um, fish hooks are in silver. So it is definitely silver. This is the size of these. So they're called Sweet as Spring. In orange, they're number 25. All right, one more question, and then we've got five more necklaces. They're long necklaces, and we will be done. Number 22 black for Marjorie. Yep. All right, let's go with answer number four on this question. Name something you keep in your wallet. Something you keep in your wallet. Answer number four is what we're looking for. All these should be pretty easy. Driver's license was number two. Money was number one. Pictures was number three. Keys were not in there. Insurance card, ooh, that would be a good one. They did not have that on here. Credit cards were number four. So it looks like Terry got that one first. Credit cards, not your social security card. Number five was identification. I wasn't sure if anybody would get that one because usually we use driver's licenses for that. But I guess if you didn't have a driver's license, whatever your other identification would be. A list of medicines, that's a good one to keep in there, Violet. And allergies, yes. Most of us have a healthcare power of attorney card that kind of covers all of that. But if you do not have one, that's a good thing to have in there. All right. Last five necklaces, they are all on the longer side. This one is my only one of this. It's called I Will Fly in Blue. So this is a combination of blue crystal type beads, silver pearls, silver hearts, and of course, our little silver bird down here because we have to have something that's gonna fly if we're gonna call it I Will Fly. So this is a nice tassel with a lot of charms on it on the bottom. The ring that it hangs from has white rhinestones along the edge. The earrings are the silvery colored pearls. It could be white too. It's so hard to tell between the light silver and the white. But this one is going to hang at bust length and below. So from bust to mid abdomen and then you also have that two inch extension so you could bring this down some more if you wanted to and have it end right here. So this one again is my only one of these. It's called I Will Fly and it is in blue. It is a pale blue. Number 26. Number 27 is trying to get caught up in the other necklace. <laughs> Number 27 is in rose gold. This one is called full frame. So we have squares set on point and also round circles smaller round circles. This is one chain until it gets down here and then it is two chains right at the bottom. Again, this is in rose gold. So this is a little daintier long necklace. The earrings are the round hoops on a fish hook back. 
this is how it lays. So we've got about two of the shapes above the bust and two below going all the way down to that dropped waist at the bottom. And then you have a two inch extension. If you want to bring it into the lower belly, you could get it there. So I have three of these available. This might be a nice one for layering as well because it's not a lot of necklace. So it's number 27. 27. Number 28 is Purple Moonstone. So we have a kind of a dusty purple, dusty plum in an irregular teardrop shape. Has a little cap on this top. This cap is silver and has white rhinestones around it to add a little sparkle to that moonstone. The earrings have a little purple moonstone beads on a fish hook back. Only have one of these as well. So this is the length with the two inch extension. It's gonna drop down here below this dropped waist just a little bit. You also could double this chain and pull this one up to be seen on Zoom. So it would make a nice short necklace as well. Is called Friends in Glow Places. Friends in Glow Places. Garth Brooks is wincing right now. In purple, number 28. Number 29. I have two of, if I can get it on here, we're 28 to violet. This is called Alpha Attitude. This is in black. Kind of reminds me of the Transformers. This little V-shaped piece up at the top. And then we have black fringe coming down off the bottom of that. So this is a black metal piece. So all those little cutouts kind of looks like a basket weave cutout. The earrings are the black tassels on a fish hook back. You have two of these available. This is the link. So the bottom of the tassels goes down to the bottom of this dropped waist. With the two inch extension, you could have it down in the lower belly area. This one, you could pull up just slightly. You would have to fasten the lobster clasp in the chain, but you could do it about that much without making it asymmetrical, although I'm not holding it very well. There we go, pull it up about that much. So this one is called Alpha Attitude in black, number 29. There we go. And last but certainly not least, only have one of these remaining. This is called On the Rome in gold. So we can see these are blue turquoise like rock chunks. You can see stone chunks. You can see the crackling. This is in a gold setting. So we have gold hardware with a gold chain. And then the gold tassel, tassels as well on a fish hook back. This is the link. So it's going mid to lower abdomen. Okay, I was going to ask you if you'd worn it yet, Terry. So Terry got the other one of these. That's why there's only one left. With the two inch extension, you could drop it down into the lower belly. Did you pull it up at all, Terry? Did you double it or pull it back? because you definitely can do this. This is a freely moving chain, so you can shorten it as much as you want, fasten that lobster clasp into that chain and pull it up just as far as you want to. Love the ones like that. They're so easy to adjust. So it's called On the Rome in gold. It is number 30 and it is our last piece for the day. 
Yes, I have some I do that with too, Terry. In fact, this one I've got on actually has quite a bit of chain look. So this is all my extra chain. But it depends on which top or dress that I wear it with, what length I want it. So I don't like to shorten them permanently if I don't have to. So um, Kimberly would like number 26 and 19 rose gold. Thank you, Kimberly. We'll note that for you. So you all join me back here. If you have a chance during the day tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be here with bracelets and rings. We'll do only bracelets and rings tomorrow. It'll be a shorter show. It's usually about 30 minutes. Last week, I was able to do 30 pieces in 30 minutes, so a piece every minute. So we got to see a lot of things in a short amount of time, which is nice because I don't have to try them on Linda back here when we have um, the bracelets and the rings. So we can get get done with them a little bit faster. And then Friday at five, we will have another regular show with the necklaces. And I have two more boxes coming in on Thursday. So we're looking forward to some more new pieces this week. If you're not able to join us tomorrow at noon, we'll see you back Friday at five. If you haven't subscribed to the notifications and you have one at the bottom of your screen, Go ahead and subscribe to the notifications. That way it will let you know when I come on. As soon as my live starts, it will send you a message that says that I'm live. If you don't see the red live sign up in the upper, let's see, it's going to be, I think it's going to be left-hand corner, upper left-hand corner, then you are watching the replay. So just so you know that, if you don't see that little box that says live, you are watching the replay. So you could still claim on there. Um, just send me a message or comment on here and it will send it to me and I will get that taken care of as long as we're not sold out. So I will see you all tomorrow or on Friday. Have a great rest of the work week. Bye bye.